Hi there crafters. I'm going to be starting a new series of toolbox series and this one is called Bring Your Own Adhesives. Stay tuned for more. Hi there paper crafters and stampers and scrapbookers. This is Sandy with Needs a Ribbon and today I'm going to be going over general adhesives that will, you will use for your paper crafting as in scrapbooking, card banking, and other anything involving paper-like substances, boxes, those kind of things and adhesives in and of itself are a method of binding like stapling like using brads and eyelets are and using the right adhesive makes or breaks your project that's why an adhesive and having the correct adhesive are a crafters best friend whether you are a new paper crafter or a well seasoned crafter you know that having the correct adhesive for the job is of utmost importance, which is why for the next four Fridays, I'm going to review adhesives, types, which adhesive you use for what application and how to use certain types of adhesives and handy adhesive related tools. I am listening to myself and I sound like my father who was a polymer engineer, plastics engineer and Adhesives were, I think I inherited it from him. <laughs> Every time I start reading or writing this stuff, I hear him in my head going, now Sandy, use this for this, you know, it's pretty funny. Anyway, you'd have to know my dad to know that, oh my gosh, he, he loved um, epoxy. Epoxy was his like favorite thing. Epoxy, I'm not going to go over because it really doesn't need, it's like overkill for paper crafting and it is a pain to work with because you have to mix and use right away. Anyway, that's for another probably never video. Anyway, again, adhesives by definition are used to attach or glue stuff together. Um, on my website, I will go over what Wikipedia and what, you know, the actual dic dictionary definition is of adhesive because it is kind of when you start to understand it you are start to understand why it's important to use the correct ones in any case I'm gonna go over these are the ones that Stampin' Up! currently carries that you will use for various things and again in the next sub subsequent posts and videos I will show you and the item numbers will be on my I don't know the date but the last part four of my series. Fine tip glue is something you will use. Mini glue dots is a Stampin' Up! product. Fast fuse adhesive. Snail. Simple, neat, affordable, inline adhesive. Otherwise known as, some people call it mono, which is, anyway, we'll go over that. But this is what it looks like in its packaging. You have this, and then you get a refill. It's great. Stapler is by nature an adhesive because it binds stuff together. You have the Tombow multi liquid glue adhesive, which I call green glue, which a lot of us call green glue. Stamp and dimensionals attach stuff together. Fast fuse adhesive. Again, new glue dots. Um, then we have our foam adhesive strips. Okay, so let me get these. Sorry about the bang. Out of the way. And let me show you some other adhesives that are were Stampin' Up! Uh, products or retired products or other products which you might use. Crystal effects, effects has some purpose. It's retired. Mod Podge is an adhesive. We'll go over that at some point. Scotch tape. Everybody loves this stuff. Again, it has a purpose. E6000. If you haven't heard of this, you need to. I finally got acquainted with it two years ago. Oh my goodness. But again, there's advantages and disadvantages to all these. Sticky strip, also called red line adhesive by some. Retired Stampin' Up! product carried by many manufacturers. Um, let's see what else have I got over here. Uh, Hermafix, which is a different type of adhesive and it comes out in little dots. But it is um, double sticky. Anyway, we'll go over that. Packing tape. It has a purpose in paper crafting. Washi tape, decorative and functional. And this is the last one I'm gonna go over. Hot glue, again, a crafter's best friend. At times, not all the time. 
Anyway, these are the adhesives that I'm going to be going over their use and availability and all that stuff over the next four Fridays. So thank you very much for stopping by. Check out needsaribbon.com for more information on this video. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you have found this issue of Toolbox, Bring Your Own Adhesives, different types of adhesives helpful to you. Please like and subscribe to see more of these kind of videos. Needsaribbon.com.